So today we will discuss coin change problem. So we are given coins of denomination 1, 2 and 5. So we need to make a sum of 11. So there can be any number of ways to make a sum of 11 using the above coins. But we need to find the minimum coins that we can use so as to make that sum. There is also one point to remember like there are infinite supply of all these coins. So if I want to use coin of denomination 1 any number of times I can do that. Let's break the problem just to understand it more clearly. So we can start with sum 1 and can check like what are the number of ways we can use those coins to make that sum and what is the minimum coins that we can use to make that sum. So to start with 1 like there is only one option like we can use only one coin and the minimum coins to make that sum is also 1. If there is a sum of 2 so we can use coin 1 2 times or we can use coin 2 so the minimum coins to make that sum will be 1 so if you want to make a sum of 3 so we can use coin 1 3 times just remember like we have infinite supply of all coins or we can use coin 1 and 2 so the minimum coins to make that sum will be 2 now we want to make a sum of four so we can use coin of denomination one four times or we have another option like we can use coin of denomination one two times and coin of denomination two one time or we can use coin of denomination two two times so the minimum coins to make that sum will be 2 and we can go on to find minimum coins for any sum. So we will use memorization technique to get the number of coins for any sum. We will take an array and we'll call it table. It will be of size equal to the sum we want to calculate number of coins for and we'll initialize with max value of integer. And we will iterate over sum starting from 1 to calculate the number of coins that is we will calculate number of coins used for sum 1 then we will use its result to calculate for the sum 2 now the important part that is for every sum starting from 1 to n total coins will be table sum minus of coin value plus of 1 that is total coins used when we subtract current coin value which can be of denomination 1, 2 or 5 from the sum plus of 1. Here we are adding 1 because it is a contribution of that coin which we use to subtract from the sum. Let me try to explain this once more with some simple example. Let's say we want to calculate total coins used for sum 5 if we have only coin with denomination 1. So it will be table of 5 which will be equal to table of 5 minus of 1 plus of 1 table of 4 plus of 1 so whatever we have in table of 4 plus 1 will be our answer for table of 5 and one more thing as we have multiple coins of different denomination with unlimited supply we will calculate number of coins for using every con combination and get the minimum out of it for table 0 value is 0 that is total coins used for sum 0 is 0. For table of 1, it will be table of 1 minus of 1 plus of 1. That is table sum minus of coin value plus of 1. Here we are using only coin of denomination 1 as using coin of denomination 2 make no sense as coin value of it is greater than the sum itself. For table 2, we have two options. What I mean to say is that we can use coin 1 coin 2 to make this sum and we will choose whichever is the minimum one we can either use coin of denomination 1 or coin of denomination 2 for both we will use the result that we calculated for table 1 which is the minimum coins we can use to make the sum of 1 so using coin value 1 statement will be table of 2 minus of 1 plus of 1 
which makes table of 1 plus of 1. So whatever we have in table of 1 that is 1 and plus of 1 will be a result. That is 2 coins of denomination 1 to make sum of 2. Now if we use coin value 2, statement will be table of 2 minus of 2 plus of 1 which makes table of 0 plus of 1. So whatever we have in table of 0 that is 0 and plus of 1 will be a result that is 1 coin of denomination 2 to make sum of 2. And we will choose 1 coin of denomination 2 as it is a minimum number of coins to make sum 2. Now let's have a look on the pseudocode. So we will loop through the sum from 1 to n and again we will have an inner loop which will loop through the coins we have. So we will check like the coin value should be less than or equal to the sum we are calculating for. So table of sum will be minimum of table of sum and table of sum minus of coin value plus of 1. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to watch more.